Remember when you were a little girl and someone used to read you stories about princesses getting saved by strapping young men galloping in on a white horse? The romance, the drama, the sheer bliss of getting saved by a man on a horse. Intoxicating, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with fantasizing about having a studly man or a gorgeous woman sweep into your life to make it a little bit sweeter. But you and I both know that if you're waiting around for someone to sweep in and save you when it comes to your money, you're making a serious mistake. Most of us have had some sort of Cinderella, Prince Charming complex going on at least at some point in our lives. We don't take full responsibility for ourselves financially because we're secretly hoping that a job, the government, our parents, an inheritance, or a guy who looks like Ryan Reynolds and has the bank account of Richard Branson is going to come take care of it for us. So how do we break this vicious cycle that keeps us from being truly powerful in our lives and being able to own our worth? I'm Kate Northrup, author of this book, Money, A Love Story, and in today's episode of Financial Freedom Friday, I'm going to give you a very simple three-step process to take yourself through so that you can stop waiting for a man on a horse or whatever your version of that is to come along and save you and you can take the reins of your own life back into your own hands and create the financial life you have been waiting for. In a moment, I'm going to give you an awesome, effective, and actually kind of fun three-step system for overcoming your Cinderella or Prince Charming complex for good. But first, I want to tell you a quick story. Several years ago, I was living in New York City in an apartment that my mom owned. I was in business with her, and I was very attached to her business and her brand financially. Our financial lives were quite a bit interwoven with one another, and I was really afraid to go out on my own because I thought I wasn't good enough. Even though I had mounting credit card debt to the tune of over $20,000, secretly in my head, the reason I wasn't taking real action to take care of it is because I kind of hoped my mom would just bail me out. It is so embarrassing to say that out loud. It wasn't until I started to develop my own self-worth and become my own Prince Charming that I could detach this fantasy from thinking that somebody else in the form of my mom or a guy or someone would come in and save me. And I will tell you, that choice to detach from my mom financially and become my own Prince Charming was one of the most important decisions of my life and it also contributed in huge ways to my own ability to value myself and I think to my ability to attract my own real life Prince Charming in Mike. So here's the three-step process to work through this on your own. And trust me, you don't have to give up your fantasy of having true love just because you're giving up your Cinderella or Prince Charming complex. It is absolutely possible to be breathtakingly in love and financially powerful at the same time. Step number one, identify who your Prince Charming is. Is it your boss? Is it the government? Is it inheritance? Is it your parents? Is it your current love affair person, your spouse or your boyfriend? Or is it somebody that you've invented in your head that you're just hoping will come along? Step number two, list the qualities that your Prince Charming has that you think make him or her or this object or entity capable of saving you. Then go back and look at that list of qualities and circle one or two or maybe three that actually could be used to describe you as well. Even if you feel like one of those qualities is a little bit of a stretch and might need some beefing up in your own life, circle it and highlight it anyway. Step number three, choose one or two of the qualities that you circled and write down two or three specific action steps you could take to beef up or nurture or enhance that quality in you over the next week or two. Schedule a date in your calendar to actually take that action step to become your own Prince Charming. Here's a really simple example. Perhaps that you've identified your Prince Charming is strong and you've written down that quality and you realize, you know, actually sometimes I am strong as well, but that quality might need a little enhancement. What you could do to enhance this quality in yourself 
is sign up for a sculpting class at your gym. Really, really simple. Write it down in your calendar, go to the sculpting class, pick up some free weights, and you'll be amazed how much stronger you feel. It's really that simple. So there you have it. That's your three-step process for becoming your own Prince Charming. It may need to be repeated a few times, but when you put your attention on developing the qualities in yourself that you think would be required by someone else to save you, you get to swoop in and save yourself. If you liked this video, like it below, share it with your friends, and be sure to head over to katenorthrop.com and enter your name and email address so that you can get an episode every single Friday in your inbox. Thanks so much for tuning in to Financial Freedom Friday, and I'll see you next week. The Money Love Course is back and better than ever. To be first on the list to know when it launches, go to themoneylovecourse.com to get on the list.